gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, gifts of the Holy Spirit. So, today I had a dream. Today is January 28, 2022 at 4.34 a.m. I heard an audible voice say, X 410. Yeah, X 410. In my sleep, I was sleeping at the time. And that's what I heard the audible voice tell me, Acts 410. So I asked the Holy Spirit, what was he saying? And he quickened my spirit to read the scriptures. So I went to the scriptures and read Acts 410 from NIV. And it is about Peter and John before the Sanhedrin. And it reads thus, Then known this, you and all the people of Israel, It is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. So if you read all of Acts 4th chapter, 1 through 37 verses in IV, you'll get a better understanding of it. But, But in another section of the dream, I'm going back to the dream, In another section of the dream, I dreamt of my grandson and he was saying, he give me dreams. Yeah, he said, he give me dreams. Then I heard an audible voice say, with visions, dreams, and audible voices. Then I saw an image of someone's neck wearing a necklace with a large diamond hanging from it. Then in another section of the dream, there were two females. I could hear one of them audibly sneezing and coughing very loudly. As I buckled my as I booked my eyes, you know, looking at the other female, when she did it, I, you know, because I was standing like right in front of this other female. But she was in another section of the room, you know, like the female that sneezed was in one section of the room. And then this other female that I was looking at was in one section of the room. So the female that, um, was standing right in front of me when I bucked my eyes as the other female sneezed and coughed very loudly. She was a, a dark complexion female with straight black shoulder length hair. And she was wearing some blue scrubs, you know, blue top and bottom. She looked at me and said, you can't catch it. You can't catch it. Yeah, she said, you can't catch it. But I never saw myself in the dream. For some reason, I only knew that I was in the dream and that she was talking to me as she said it while looking at me. So then I woke up at 9.01 a.m. So what I know, what I noticed in the dream, y'all, that my grandson in the dream represents children and all, you know, all of us being able to receive dreams, visions, audible voices, angelic encounters given from the Holy Spirit, you know, given to us from the Holy Spirit. Then the Holy Spirit is not a respected person, you know, and that anyone can receive. Anyone can receive these gifts from the Holy Spirit. I also noticed in the dream that the large diamond necklace on that person's neck represents the gifts from the Holy Spirit. Yeah, it was a beautiful, beautiful, big, nice necklace. It was a beautiful gift. Oh, yeah. So that represents the gifts from the Holy Spirit. And then the female in the blue scrubs telling me that you can't, you can't catch it. You know, remember I was telling you, she said, you can't catch it. Um, she was, well, come on, Janelle. She was um, representing the, you know, the Lord. Yeah, she was representing the Lord. And the Lord was, you know, saying that we have power of authority in Jesus' name given to us over any infirmity. Yeah. In miraculous signs and wonders, we also have. So then the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit by reminding me of the audible voice again. The audible voice that I heard this morning at 4.34 a.m. saying, Acts 4th chapter, 
10th verse. You know, it, it only said Acts 4th chapter, 10th verse. You know, Acts 4.10. So, like I said, I read Acts, you know, 4th chapter, 10th verse out of the NIV earlier. So then the Holy Spirit quicken my spirit again, quicken my spirit with these words. Continue saying what I tell you, sharing the word of God with others with boldness, authority, and assurance, never shrinking back from the word of God to make others feel comfortable. Yeah, while doing it with love. He said, I've given you the power and authority to heal the sick, raise the dead, open blinded eye, and give voice to the mute. While doing all of this in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Messiah. You're not to please the elders of the church who are not comfortable with your boldness and authority that I've given you. They have to come into account with I, says the Lord, because I've given you the power to crush serpents. Yeah. So then the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit with this scripture. Luke 10, chapter 19, verse from the Amplified Bible is what I read from. Listen carefully. I have given you authority that you now possess to tread on serpents and scorpions and the ability to exercise authority over all the power of the enemy, Satan. And nothing will in any way harm you yeah so the holy spirit is telling us y'all they have many people in the church you know older people our elders that are setting their ways they're used to having church a certain way you know it's just like how they how they say generation down generation down because my dad went to that church i'm gonna go because my mama she preached this way i'm gonna I'm a preach because my daddy that's the way he preached i'm gonna preach you know yeah they, they're setting their ways and they're, they're not welcoming this new stuff like because the, the Lord has poured his spirit out on us so we can have the power of authority that he has given us, you know, to preach, to heal the sick and raise the dead, open blinded eye, you know, give voice to the mute, give hearing to the deaf, you know. He's gave us that power of authority, to the power of authority to crush the head of the serpents. And they're not used to that and they're not welcoming it and they're making you and us you know us feel like feel so like we're wrong for having gifts and dreams and going out telling people i'm giving you a prophetic word that god has given me to give you you know they're, they're acting like you're just making this up and doing it on your own behalf but you're not you're doing it because that's what the lord said do and you're doing it in love you know you just give them what God gave you. You've given prophetic words and visions and dreams and, you know, the audible voices that you hear, the angelic encounters that you receive from the Lord. You're just sharing it and giving it when God say give it. Some things is personal. God wants you to keep for yourself. He'll let you know what you need to share and what you don't need to share. But they're making you feel uncomfortable. They're making you feel like you're wrong for doing it, that you're out of order. You're out of line. You're not, you're not doing what you should do as a man or woman of God. But you are doing it because the Holy Spirit is just speaking through me, telling me what to tell y'all. Because he gave us. We have that power from the Lord, you know, in Jesus' name. He's given us that power to crush serpents. He's given us that boldness and authority to speak the way we do. So don't let anyone stop you. Don't let anyone shrink you back. Don't let anyone make you feel like you're less because the gifts you have because those gifts are from the Lord from the Holy Spirit in Jesus name and so I just had to share that because that's what he asked me to share so it will be premiering on my YouTube channel that he's blessed me with um, on January 29th 2022 Central Standard Time Zone 7pm yep so many blessings to you and your family. I pray that you all have an ear to hear and a heart to receive this word, whoever this word is for, because it's a prophetic word. This is a prophetic word. So whomever this word is for, let it fall on good ground 
in the name of Jesus. And anything that's not of not of the Lord, we rebuke it and send it to the pits of hell where it belongs and burn down any evil altar or wickedness by his judgment fire. And welcome the Holy Spirit to fill this place. So if you have fallen from, you know, from the Lord, you've been sinning, you've been, or you may be a Christian, maybe the remnant, and you're straddling the fence, and you want to give back, rededicate it with Christ, your life back, rededicate it with him, I'm going to say the prayer of salvation, and you can say, repeat it after me. Dear Lord Jesus, yeah, I ask you to forgive me of my sins, known, unknown thought, deed, and word. I believe you died and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and in my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Yeah. So, Romans 10, chapter 13, verse, if everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Okay? In Romans 10, chapter 9, verse, NIV, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And if you read Acts, second chapter, 38 through 39, verses, NASB, Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children, for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. So you got to get water baptized, and just know this, that the enemy will attack you because now you don't gave your life to Christ and you're trying to follow him. You're trying to live new, a new life. So he's going to attack you, maybe more than he's ever attacked you. Just shake it off. Get with other believers, men and women of God, you know, to edify and build yourself up in the word of God so you can have that word in you to fight the enemy from out of your mind because he's going to be attacking your mind. He's going to try to have you sitting alone, isolated, thinking about stuff that's not going right. You just got to rebuke it and bind it in Jesus' name and speak loose and loose love and power and everything that God say you are that you are in Jesus' name. Yeah. So, also read about testing the spirit because people may say Jesus didn't come in flesh, but he did. The Holy Spirit placed the seed in Mary. She was a virgin. He placed the seed in Mary, which was Jesus. She gave birth to him in a manger. He, he got older. You know, he started walking the earth, spreading the word of God, his father, spreading the gospel, the good news, drawing others to Christ, making disciples of men, fishers of men. That's what he did. So he came in the flesh. He did come in the flesh. He bled blood and everything just like us. He was sad. He had compassion, you know, and passion. So he did what we did so we can identify ourselves with him. So he did come in the flesh. So read 1 John 4th chapter 1 through 6 verse, verses, ESV. Also read about the spirit of divination because they have many spirits that come up, come, come. We don't fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities, darkness, evilness, and wickedness that rule this earth. So read about the spirit of divination. Yeah, divination. Acts 16, chapter 16 through 18 verses, NASB as a boy. If you have any prayer requests, I'm going to put my Gmail link up. And thank you for um, listening to this podcast station. Listen to it. You can listen to it with your earbuds in while you're pushing your baby in a stroller. You're going grocery shopping. You're just taking a stroll in the park, you know, riding your bike, exercising, walking on a treadmill. And you get this word in your spirit. Get this word in your spirit. So check out this podcast. Spread it on to many. Share it with others. And also, I have a YouTube channel, Ambassador for Christ YouTube channel, where you can go on and watch the videos. I also do lives every once in a while, whenever the Holy Spirit quickens my spirit, so you can interact with me, and we can praise and worship the Lord, and I also do communion, have communion. So whenever the Holy Spirit quickens my spirit to have communion again, you might catch me on the live, and I might be doing so. So if you have more information that you need to know about me, anything else, you can check out my About section on my YouTube channel that the Lord has given me. So many blessings to you and your family. I pray this was a blessing to you because it was a blessing to me. I thank the Holy Spirit for giving me interpretation of it. And he gave it to me speedily. So blessings, blessings, blessings to all. And until the Holy Spirit quicken my spirit with something else to upload. Blessings to you and your families. Y'all, please click like, share, and subscribe. Like, 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 share, 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 and subscribe on my YouTube channel to spread this gospel to all. So all can receive the word of the Lord and have that word in them so that out of their bellies will flow rivers of living water which is the word of god blessings to you and your family y'all